right afternoon everyone now i've got a project to do it is an order actually for somebody and i'm just sticking these two boards together because i need the thickness it is a plaque and i've never done one like this before well not this particular one just making sure that's it couldn't get that apart then um it's going to be covered anyway so that should be all right but i just want to make sure that it's nice and firmly stuck that's it okay i also need that bit of card in a minute so what i'm going to do is just to cover it if it will fit it, it should not sure oh not quite big enough that way let's see if we can put it on that's better yeah i needed to uh have at least an inch gap all the way around okay so I'm using a thick red velvet. Move that to one side. That'll cover the other piece I need. I may just speed it up as well in places because they are slow processes and I like to get the video. I don't like the videos too long. So obviously I want you to... Uh, see what i'm doing oops nearly cut that then i want you to be able to follow but you know in less time so i'm just going to move that out of the way okay so if, put that there i might need to take the velvet off underneath And that should be that's it that's great perfect for what i want like i say i will put a back on it as well now um let me just see now what i've got to do is i need to cut a, a piece of chipboard to make it look like a cat like a vase vase okay um so we'll see oops i'm just going to use my ruler to i think we'll do maybe six inches to start with in height i may cut it down i don't know yet so I'm just going to mark out the six in, uh, five inches wide, I think. Yeah, five inches. So get my bigger scissors, cut that. So I measured it five, so I'm going to come in an inch either end. So that will be four and that will be one. 
put my pencil, oops, put my pencil on that, go to the corner, and I'm doing a diagonal line, do the same on this side, and then I just have to trim that section off, and that gives me a basic vase. Those bits can go in a box because we use them for making bricks and things like that. So I've got that piece. Now I'm just going to see about the height of this. If that's going to sit... Oh, hmm. I'm going to take an inch off it. It's too long. Too long for what I want. So I just mark out an inch from there. And an inch from that end. And I'm just going to cut that off. It was too too tall. Again, I'll use for bricks. Don't waste. Okay, let's have a look. See where we're at. So I'm going to use the red crushed velvet from the other day. And some wadding. So here's my wadding. Hmm. Gonna have to do it on the widest bit there. Yeah, that'll do. I'm just gonna glue that on. Just onto the widest bit. That'll do. Cut it. My phone's just going to have to ring. I am busy. Keep all your excess. You never know where it'll come in handy. And I'm going to take this red velvet. Right. And I need to cover it. I'm going to do that just to make sure I've got enough. And then just take all it picks up bits. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to go across there, pull that across, pull that down. Pull that across and I can cut this section off. Don't want it too bulky. Pull that across. I think that'll do. undo that I'm going to pull that back and 
Let's pull that back into place. That's fine. Shush. Okay, so we've got that. That's nice, isn't it? So now what I'm going to... Joey, lucky, shush. Just going to stand that up there. Now I've got some ribbon, but I did have some, did I have some braid? Let me just see if I've got some braid. And it's a slightly different shade of red, but that's fine. So I'm just going to put some trimming across the bottom. Yes, I like it at the base. So I'm not going to need any more than that. Oops. Sorry about that. Stand up, mate. Okay, so I'm just going to trim this across the bottom. Like that. Attach it to the back. Like I say, you're not going to see that at all. Yeah, that's quite pretty. I like that. Okay, now I just want to do a piece, um, a strip. So let me just get the piece I'm after. It has to be as wide as that okay so let me start at this end so it has to be that wide and that long a little bit wider than that <coughs> move that out of the way I'm just going to level this up so it's the same all the way around. Okay, now, oh, that's got a little bit, it doesn't matter about that, I don't think. Fold that like that. Then I'm going to take my needle and thread. Doesn't matter that it's white thread. I'm just going to stitch that. And then what I need to do is to turn this the other way. So I need uh, like a paintbrush or something. Oh, Fee, this is what you should have done in the first place. Pop that on. <laughs> Shoot that way. That's what these are for. My little sausage makers. That's it. There we go, pull that out. We do sell them in the shop. I think we've two pair, uh, you get a pack of three. And I think we've two sets left. Just gonna show you a little detail. And keep that flat. Make sure that seam is at the back. That's it, that's the bet pipe. Rip that up again, start poking it back in. Push it to the end. Now I don't want this one too full. Pull it out and push that in. Pull it out, oops. Push that in. 
see because it was split there but that's going to be at the back so it doesn't matter and then pop a little bit more in that's actually let me get my needle now if you take a needle and you can pull it down inside just push that in push down and it brings it all together where you want it to be and then a little bit of glue in the end I'm rushing mine but you've no need to now I probably put a little bit too much of that in but I like that right okay so what I'm going to do is to glue that now here I'm going to put that on there like that hold that on and then I'm going to pull that across and hopefully that should just fit here and just hold that in place oops it needs to be moved up a little bit that's it and then pull that back slightly and put some glue down there and then what you're going to do is press that in oops like that and take this trim cut it and glue that on like that and that will just hold that in place And I've pulled it tight. Let me show you that. See, like that. Yeah. Okay. And I've made myself a little plant pot. So when that goes on here, see? that will just glue in but I'm going to leave some of this I'm going to bend that now so kind of arch it oops actually I might need to glue that in let's just skimming of glue on there that will hold that in but to bend the wood at the chipboard like that and that gives it a arch look as well and then I can also slot some things down there so I now need to put that into position okay now um, I'm going to make some handmade roses or flowers I think that will do on there let me just check that that's about I want it there about there okay now I don't want to ruin it so I've only put the glue halfway up for now I will glue in the sides eventually but for now I've just done that and that looks like a really cute um, 3D plant pot thrilled with that that's great yeah quite happy with that so now what I'm going to do is to do the flowers and I'm just going to use the red ribbon we have um, and see what I can come up with hopefully I've got some of these to put in as well with some of the leaf uh, foliage I think it's getting the best flower but 
it's supposed to be kind of like a rose. Oh, that didn't go through, did it? You silly old. <laughs> Good job it had been too tight. I'm just trying to think which is the best way to do them. I'm going to cut two inch ribbons, shape them, doing that shape petal. It's one of the easiest to do. Um, so I think we'll have, I don't know, six per flower. Let me just make a flower and see if it works. Move that out of the way. Let's just see if this works. So I've got to do a bud for the centre as well. Okay, so I'm also going to do a bud. So I need about six in. Oh, no. No, we're not doing it like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is fold that down, fold that over, and then fold that over again. Yeah. And then we fold that back and wrap that around to start the bud in the middle. Oops, a little bit too much on there. Just going to make it into a, a little bud. A little bit more, I think. Fold it back, wrap it round and glue it. See, we've got that. And I'm just going to do a little bit more. Okay, let's do that. And I'm going to cut that off and then glue that down. Then I'm going to take these and now just let me get some more thread on them. So I'm just going to do a stocking stitch and I'm not going to pull them too tightly. I'm going to do individual petals. Stitch that around, uh, glue that around there, grab hold of that and then wrap. So yeah, that's the start of my rose. And then you do it loosely each time. Do one more wrap round and I think we'll do them slightly different.
I'm doing them up there, the stem, uh, down the centre of the rows because I want it to hold. Oh, that's looking pretty, isn't it? Nice rows. But I want the petals to come out. So while I'm doing that, I'm just going to cut some more. Right. Finish this off. So I think I'm just going to continue with these and put do these three together and glue these on. And then I'm going to widen the flower by putting those on. So that's one. Two. Three. Right, go back to the beginning. Okay. Now, just going to leave that gap open a little bit. I'm not sure if this will work. I've got a couple of sticks here. Um, what I wanted to do was to attach this if I could. I can do that. Okay. I'm just going to attach them. Like that. That's See, they'll be long enough to go in there. And then I can use this to go in here. Um, pull that up. Like that. I can cut that. I'm going to add some in here. I may have to do the others in wire instead of a, a rod because I want to be able to, the flowers need to be shown. Start on the longest end, the pointed bit, and just do a running stitch. Now 
Now I'm not going to cut that off because I need to make sure this fits in the centre of this flower. I'm just going to even these ruffles out a little bit. I think I might have pulled that a little... Oh, and I've done it. Okay, right. So I'm going to do the glue on the flower at the bottom of it, of what we've already made. Okay, and then I'm going to pull that flower up towards it. Just do that, push it right up. Look, isn't that gorgeous? Hmm. Like that. And then what I need, yeah, I like that. Let me just get my plant, plant pot thing. Oh, yes. And the others will go on white and face more this way. Yeah, that's great. Oh, 3D flowers, and we've made that. <laughs> I get right chuffed when I do something right. I've got my bits of wire here. That's long enough to do both of what I needed. And I'm just going to cut that in half. So that's long enough to do what I need. We just need to turn the ends over so that it's not sharp on anybody. Any wire will do because you're going to cover it anyway. That'll do. doesn't have to be perfect. I do, however, need to put a hole in the middle. So I need my holy tool. Oh, good felt is this, isn't it? You can't get anything through it. I'm not sure if my what's-it thing will work. It may do. Let me just test it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Thank God I tested it. But never mind. Here we go. So this should fit in here. Got glue particles all over me. Oh, God. That's it. Okay, so I'm just going to glue on these stems of the leaf. And then pull that right up to the base. Like that. See, underneath. That gives that a little bit of greenery. And that's going to look... Oh, that just looks fabulous in there. Right, so I don't need those two, I'm going to have to use wire. Okay, so need to go back, look at that, the start of it. And I have two more flowers to put in first. Yeah, and then we'll glue all that on before I add the rest of it. Okay, so I'm going to do all of that again. I'll be back when I finish, you've just seen me do how to make it, I'll come back. Right, as you can see, I've done the other two flowers. I've done that one as a focal point, and uh, these, like I say, can bend a little bit. 
but I'm just finishing this one off and I don't want to spill any glue on that at the moment so it's just I've cut a strip of um green felt now I did have somewhere but I haven't got them out I don't know where to look for it at the moment you know uh, the uh, garden tape so it's not that I don't have any I have it in brown white green you know so it's just I'm just doing it with this for now Right. okay that'll do that's fine so although it's got its leaf thing on at the bottom I'm just going to cut that one down a little bit no I'm not going to leave it as it is but I just love the way the roses have come out um, so I don't want to stick them in just yet uh, you know to stick them down oh, I've got to cover this one as well because well, I don't. <laughs> I want to put the other... I want to play around with the design first. So I'm just going to use a bit of felt to wrap around. Like that. move that up all right i'm just going to glue that end down My phone has never stopped all day. It's all right. I know focus. We'll turn it off. It's not as easy as that. Because um, I do have to check the messages uh, in case of a family emergency or something like that. So I can't really turn it off. And if I don't have it switched on, then I um, wouldn't know when I do check. Because although it bleeps a lot, it reminds me to check. It's just annoying because it goes off con uh, constantly. I don't know what happened there. I'm going to fill that bit in. <laughs> That's the widest part. That will fit in there. That's it. There we go. And just a little bit to fill in there. Like I say, you're not going to see all these bits because it's going to be covered uh, with some foliage and that. You're not really going to see it. Right. Oh! No strands! bugger off so yeah I'm really thrilled about that and now I'm just going to slightly bend these forward and they're going to sit so you'll be able to see them and then that's going to sit in like that uh, and let's put some foliage in it now the only bit of foliage is I've got these but I like the foliage, I like the leaves and that. And I can use any type of foliage. Like that, but just tucked in behind. Before I, I see, I don't want to glue any of that down just yet. Going to put this rose in next. I'm just going for it in there like that I'm not sure if I'm going to need the rest of the foliage but I have to have a look at this I want these down 
Do you know what? I'm just going to put them in like that. In there. Just to fill up underneath. Like that. With a little bit of foliage just here. And I'm going to snap that bit off as well like I did with the other one. And a little bit of foliage on this side here. Now I do have, or I did have, so just to add it, I might not put them in but I'm just saying. Uh, let's have a look, see what we have. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them but I do like these. Um, I can't remember the name of them or what they're supposed to look like. Just hope it's going to keep filming. And a little bit of foliage just here. Right there. Stick that right in there. That's it. Let me just sit off. We need that bit there. Just let me see. Yes, it does. To me, it needs it. Um, so I'm going to put it in. Now, I know the person who's uh, ordered this will be watching. So I hope you agree with me, seeing as you know me so well. I think you do yeah maybe a little bunch just there in the center just gonna chop this bit just there that's it there's something missing off here and I think we need a small piece of bling that's it less is more elegance or what and that would be a perfect mother's day gift wouldn't it Let's see if one's more even perfect mother's day gift yeah again that's why i never throw anything away i'm just going to add a touch of glossy accents just in here But then add a little bit of glue just there. Hopefully I've got this in the middle. Like that. Touch of elegance. Oh, just stunning. I, oh, I'm not sure <laughs> because um, I just feel it needs something going across the middle. It, the the pot is just a little bit too um, plain. Just let that dry a second or two. Yeah, that's better. It's more elegant. Um, I need to... I 
just let that dry a little bit. But anyway, that's it. I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.